it has been amazing, but it is sometimes, you know, when you're in a parking lot and there's somebody walking by and you open it and you have a closet and you're back and they're like, Oh, Sam. It looks like we're homeless yes. living out of our car, which no, you we're know, not. We're living true. out of our trailer. Yeah. Okay. So keep it straight. <laughs> okay. Everybody. Welcome back to North and South. Today we are finally doing a tour of our travel trailer that we're living in stationary full time. And this tour is brought to you by GoTracks. But more about that later. Let's get going with the tour. We bought this trailer a little over five years ago and we were not going to live in it full time. At that time it was for traveling. We have lived full time in a fifth, fifth wheel, wheel with our nine kids. Four of our kids though have already moved out. So we only have five kids left at home. Am I doing my math right? Yes. We bought this when we still had nine kids. So we were just gonna travel in it. Um, but we're very grateful we have it because this summer, Mike has been studying at an aviation school here in the Shenandoah Valley. And we knew we were only gonna be here for a matter of months, not long enough to sign up for a rental house. We looked at Airbnb options where you could just live in them for a monthly rate, but it would have been thousands and thousands of dollars just for a few months. And so we were so grateful to have our travel trailer. This is a 32 foot Radiance, was well, a Radiance 32 BH, which means mm -hmm. it's 32 feet long and the B and the H are for bunkhouse. We don't see a lot of these out there. I'm not exactly sure why, but we got it because <laughs> it was such a great floor plan. But right. before we go inside, we're gonna show you around out here. Okay, there's a lot of things that we have done here that we don't always do when we're traveling because you don't wanna just be putting them down and taking them up. So it's a little different when you are stationary or staying in one place for a while. We have our rug, which we have always had a rug in our trailer. We have our shade. This one only went up sometimes because like I said, it's kind of a lot of trouble. But what it does is creates a room for us outside. Mm -hmm. um, we also looked into where you can actually attach a tent to your awning, but we could never find one that had great reviews. So if you know of a really good one that you've used, let us know because that would be a great thing to have. They're kind of expensive They're expensive, too, so, so, that so was... we didn't really want to make the leap when yeah. none of them were getting great reviews. This is something we would never have had while traveling, <laughs> but it stays out here. We got kind of a heavy duty fan because when we're eating, the fan can keep away mosquitoes. We often have it actually just down at our leg level. Um, so that we don't have to worry about, you know, mosquitoes or any sort of insects like that. And it's done great in the weather and it's been fine. This is um, a drying rack that we got on Amazon, I think. Yeah, I, I can't remember, we got yeah. a while back. Um, when we're traveling a lot, we're usually doing fun stuff like going to the beach or the lake or the pool. We're not doing that as much now that we're stationary, but definitely sometimes we have to hand wash things because we are in a park that does not have our, uh, a laundromat. So we have to go into town to go to the laundromat. We do it about every five or six days, and but sometimes things are dirty in between that that we need. So we'll, I have like a whole way I hand wash them in a bowl or a bucket. Then I put them on the drain rack and put the fan on them out here. It is like pioneer style, but it works. This park, as you can see, is really nice. The spots are really, really wide open and that's because it's not actually officially just an RV park it's kind of more like a state or national park but it's a city park the city that we're in here in Buena Vista has this beautiful park Glen Maury Park and um, these spots are only open from spring to fall but they have full hookups and then they just have these really big open spaces it's been really nice a lot of times RV parks and included here come with a table this is a huge one and it's looking pretty sad, but we bought some white vinyl that we cut to size to fit with bungee cords. This is where we eat our dinners most of the time, unless the weather's just too bad. Down here, we set up like a little fire pit area, which we've used dozens of times. If you guys have seen some of our videos, we have this contraption here. It's awesome. Early in our traveling, after we sold our house in March, we went to an RV park that said, no, they didn't have any fire pits but you could, if you brought your own fire pit, you could have a fire. 
we're like, who travels with a fire pit? Yeah, they're big and heavy and yeah. yeah. But then we looked on Amazon and this was like 25 bucks and it had great reviews. It's like like a woven metal and it works amazing. And then you can just fold it up. It goes in a little tiny bag and take it with you. I feel like whether you are an RVer or not, this would be awesome to set up at the beach. Yeah. <clears throat> in your backyard for a quick uh, fire pit. It's awesome. It's pretty convenient. And it also just brings up the fire up to your level instead of being on the ground. And the fire is really easy to start because of all the airflow. So it's been awesome. Uh, we have our lights set up, which once again, when we're traveling full time, we don't always set up our lights because of the trouble but it makes it really cheery and happy here at night. Another thing that has been awesome is our GoTrax bike. I just feel like everybody in the world needs an electric bike. It is like, <laughs> it's like an amazing invention because it gives you the flexibility and ease of having a bike and the size, but then, you know, so often it doesn't really make sense for you to ride your bike somewhere because of hills or distance. And this now bridges that gap. We are in a beautiful park, like I said, but we're at the top of a hill here in town. And so this electric bike enables us to go down and up without, you know, going like, there's no way I'm going to have to walk that bike back up. <laughs> yeah. And this GoTrax one has been really great. It folds. It's um, been really impressive. A lot of these bikes are either too bulky or the wrong size or not comfortable, but this has been great. Like Megan said, we've really enjoyed having the GoTrax e-bike. We actually got it a month and a half ago. We've been using it for a little bit. So it is a little bit dirty because we've been riding it around. So excuse the, the dirt that's on it in some of these shots. Uh, a couple of things we really enjoyed or like about the bike. One is the price. Um, it's 100 to $200 cheaper than most other electric bikes you'll see on the market. Also comes with some free accessories that you don't typically get when you buy an e-bike. Usually all the accessories you have to purchase extra. This one comes with a free seat bag a phone holder, uh, the rear view mirror, and also the uh, folding lock, which is great to keep it secure when you're out and about. Like Megan said, it does fold up, um, fits in the back of our little car here, really easy to get around with. We'd love the, the size of it's great. It kind of, it can expand or contract depending on the size of the rider. We have a link in the description, which uh, you can use to go check out the bikes that uh, GoTrax has. Um, also, there's a, a discount code there you can use, also in the description of this video, to get $50 off any of their products that are $699 or more. Check out the link, go see what bikes they have, and get going on that. So that's been awesome. This is our outdoor kitchen, which we kind of tore up to make it work better for us. It used to have a pull-out drawer here. You can still see the slides. We kept it, put it in storage that had a like a gas burner on it mm, mm -hmm. in a sink but we were never cooking out here it's kind of it was kind of high anyways. yeah almost always and so instead we store our big appliances in here that are electric which we use all the time now a little fun fact if you're going to stay in an rv park a lot of the time um especially if you're just short term you don't pay for electric but you do pay for the gas that you have your, your propane your propane and so as much as you can cook with electric is gonna save you a lot of money. We are blessed to be in a park that also doesn't charge us electric even though we're here long term. And so using electric makes a lot of sense. And we still have our little fridge here. It's very tiny. It fits a couple gallons of milk and a, maybe a couple other things. We, we need to go grocery shopping. There's nothing in there. Mm. This works great. I am in and out of using this 50 times a day. Yeah. <laughs> I know. The best part of an RV tour is getting inside. Often when I watch these videos, I fast forward because I don't want to see all the other stuff. I'll just mention we do have some under storage. It's not a ton, it's a mess. But what Super we organized. set up is inside our bedroom, there's a little laundry chute. Yeah. And we put a basket underneath so that we can keep our laundry down here and then I can just pull it out, sort it, and take it to the laundromat. Now it's finally time to go inside. In case it wasn't clear, we currently live in our travel trailer, full-time stationary with Mike and I and our five kids and our two cats. And we also happen to have like the biggest cats of all time. This is Calcifer. Um, our cats were inside outside cats when we were in our house, but um, now they have been inside only just because of safety and all sorts of things along those lines but they've handled it like champs. They really have, they've been really good boys about it. And they've just kind of adjusted and they love looking out the windows 
and uh, watching all the different things and all the different places we've traveled. Also, I will say this table, the cats have sort of, this is theirs. They own it. We don't really eat at this table. <laughs> it's their room now. It's more or less their place to hang out and look out the window. So we've accepted that fact. We got asked before. We have their litter box right underneath. Mm -hmm. We thought of a million places we could like hide the litter box inside of something, but it was always storage we needed. And so ultimately we've kept it here. Somebody asked how we stay on top of like the smells. We empty it as soon as they use it. Like yeah. we just can't, we can't leave it that way. And so this gets emptied several times a day. Um, and there's no, there's no question if it's been used. The and we, whole trailer <laughs> yeah, I know. The cats we also used. switch out, just completely replace the litter quite often. So yeah. that's just, that's a, an expense of having our cats with us. So this is our kitchen. If you want to circle around, um, the whole kitchen right there, the whole kitchen. This has been amazing. I highly recommend if you are going to have an RV that you get a basket like this, anything that you can put up. Mm. all the better yeah. um, and this is space that would not be used in any way it's a little bit of a pain if you're constantly pulling your slide in and when we, we were traveling we would just kind of pull it up and put it inside but now that we've been sitting in the same place for a few months it's just only only yeah. positive yeah. so grab one of those they're not expensive we can store all sorts of stuff in there another thing we've added was this island um, I got this for my birthday so that it has storage underneath and this this storage and then it just gives me somewhere to cook another thing well sometimes we'll keep it here but it rolls and so i can roll mm. it out for when i'm cooking in this area we also added this pop-up mm -hmm. it's great it's the perfect size for a toaster or for dishes uh, stacked for washing um and so we can have both that and this if we need to also it's nice when we don't just to slide this over here extend the counter space and not impede the space too much obviously we maybe this isn't obvious to everybody but we don't have a dishwasher and we were kind of nervous about that having seven people it because it can get kind of crazy at the after dinner here because everybody's washing their own dishes that's one of the rules in our family somebody does the dishes but you wash your individual di dishes um, and so we have this stored up here. We pull it down at mealtime. Sometimes it never goes back up. It stays down for days. But if I'm making something especially complex for dinner or for a meal, then I will put it up um, during my prep so I have as much counter space as possible. Another thing that we love are these little shelves. We got them mm. on Amazon. Um, and I think we own like, I don't know how many. Uh, four or five of them. Yeah, they screw right into the wall. And they're super sturdy. They don't move when we're traveling and they hold so much stuff. So we have this one in the kitchen and I'll show you some that we have in bed, the kids' bedrooms. Love it. Able to get everything off the counter, but keep it handy. Mm -hmm. I also, my RV has a little spice rack right there, which is nice and handy. Perfect size for spices. Another thing I've mentioned before, but um, we, well, we put this in just to get the paper towels up and off. We put a knife thing from Ikea in, so it's magnetic. And then we got this from Ikea as well. And that is so helpful because we only have three drawers and we have a lot of things to put in those drawers. So it's so much better to keep most of those things up here rather than constantly having the drawers get stuck because there's a, too many utensils in them. This is my burner. I have three burners. I use only this one. As you can see that's how it usually works everybody has the same burner they always use <laughs> yes. um but we use it every stinking day um so we cook i mean several people are cooking breakfast on the same pan because i didn't want to worry about weight too much so all we brought was this flat cast iron for that sort of cooking and it gets used every day at breakfast several times over and um, we also use the gas for what water else? heater for our water heater but we really are able to, it lasts a long time. Partially because it's not winter time, so we're not running the furnace. Yes, but. our furnace would run off that, but um, it's actually, the bills are pretty low. Oh, and I use the oven. Oh, right, right, I right. guess too. And this will, I mean, I'll bake things for an hour in there and still it does not use as much gas as we thought we would, but I have figured out the oven. The main thing after hearing it from several people is I got a pizza stone that takes up the whole space 
slid right in here and that will distribute the heat more evenly. This is your cooking space right here. This is nothing space. The perfect size for an RV oven is a jelly roll pan. Now you might have a specialty one, but most of us have this size. This fits in perfectly without wasting any space. Um, and we need as big as possible to be able to utilize our oven for seven people. Okay, here's our RV fridge. What's awesome about an RV fridge is that it can run on gas or propane or electric. When we're stationary, it's always electric. Um, it's not super huge. We obviously have put up a whiteboard. We have had our RV for five years <laughs> and we've been, you know, living in it for a few months now. This door got broken. Yeah, there used to be a door on that. So now it's it's open shelving. We're just trying to like, you Yeah, know, we're going with the trend. Mm -hmm. These are our pantries. I am opening them, that was risky. Oh, geez. But we actually, these work pretty well. Even though <laughs> I cook, I cook. We are not doing takeout. Or pre-prepared stuff. Or pre-prepared. I am cooking our meals. We are cooking all day long. And this has been enough for us. You can't have quite as much food storage or whatever as you might, you know. Yeah. So. Well, these have not been a problem for me. It's the fridge that's a little bit harder. Mm. I can only, we go through so much milk and so many eggs and I can only get probably a couple days worth at a time from the grocery store. So I'm at the grocery store every day. Yeah. Multiple times sometimes. <laughs> All right, another thing we added here was there's a little cabinet here that was super narrow. So like, well, and it had doors Yeah. that were tall, mm -hmm. and, but you couldn't, you couldn't stack anything No, in there. it was very unusable. So it was like, what do I put? Everything would just fall out every time you'd open the doors. And so we ripped that out and we put in this Ikea shoe cabinet. Which is actually also fairly um, skinny. Very, yeah, it's not very deep. But it's much more usable. Yes, because we have a lot of shoes when you have seven people. Yeah. Um, another thing when we were traveling, um, you know, just using it for a week or whatever at a time, we took our TV out because we didn't feel like we needed it. But now mm. that we're in here full time, this is where we sit as a family to watch movies and we use it all the time. That's the family room. Yeah, this couch we brought in, um, we got an extra long couch and so we had to tear out everything in our RV because it had a couch that was more like this size that would pull out to a bed, mm -hmm. but it was not super convenient. And so we instead tore out the dinette. Mm -hmm. What are those called? Yeah, dinette. Yeah, dinette with the built-in benches, which would be so nice to have um so that we could fit a bigger couch in and so when we're watching a movie we have four people here and we have two people three people in chairs over here <laughs> and we can pull our tv out as we do and watch a movie together as a family and there goes all the cords i put away yeah so much for the neat look we keep a dvd player and a gaming system up here that we use on weekends um this is our water bottle storage we try not to use cups. We have very few cups. We don't have enough cups even for everybody in the family to use. And so instead we try to use water bottles. This is our medicine cabinet. Mm -hmm. And then under the couch, we have these bins that have even more storage. Yeah, so we have one, two, three. They're kind of, yeah, um, pretty handy. I love this couch. I just want to mention now that I'm looking at it up close, it is a, <laughs> it's like a woven fabric and so fur sticks to it. Let me show you what has been a dream. So when we first started, we were using these sticky rollers, which we still use on our clothes. Oh, to get the fur off, yeah. Yeah, because everyone is covered in fur all of the time. Yes. So before we Maybe go we to church admit or to that. out, we're like rolling each other's clothes. But then we found this. This is also on Amazon. It's like those old timey vacuums. You know, mm, that would like throw stuff roll. inside the little like... it works so well it works better than the sticky roller and you don't have to constantly but you're just rolling it on here and it'll get all the fur off it's awesome what's it called that thing i don't know we're not this isn't like a sponsorship chom or chom roller chom chom okay and then you just go like this and the fur is in here i don't here, even want to show it's kind of gross you pull it out and you throw it in the trash <laughs> okay Another thing, because we are not traveling, we're bringing instruments with us. Uh, mm -hmm. Our teenagers play instruments and we didn't want them to not be able to play them, you know, for this summer while Mike is studying. And so we have kind of instruments everywhere. We have a banjo hanging right here for Asher. Pearl plays a flute so she can put that away in a cabinet. Here's Peter's electric guitar. And then Jude has been practicing on an acoustic guitar. This thing is always floating around the whole RV because yeah, it's always in the way. He needs to use his bed. And so, then don't forget that right there too. Oh, and another electric guitar. Why do we have two electric guitars? Oh, I yeah, don't know. Peter actually. bought another one. Oh for right, his birthday. yeah, I that's forgot. true. Okay, this is the reason we bought this RV. I'm gonna back up so we can see it. 
It has um, two double, meaning like almost queen size bunks, and then two regular bunks. Let's close this. Um, and so you could theoretically fit six people back here. We, you know, we only have five, so that's that's easier. You could actually do seven if you do someone on the floor yeah, right here. In fact, when we were first traveling in this, when we had all nine kids still at home, we did keep seven people in here. But they've done great. This summer, um, we have all been in this RV. We try to get out as much as possible. But the funny thing about the kids that are sleeping back here together, these are the kids that were in each other's bedroom at home till late at night and even asking if they could sleep in each other's bedroom mm, yeah. anyways so they actually really enjoy um sharing a room i think <laughs> obviously there's some things they don't enjoy but so here you see we have more of these, oh, these little baskets. yeah everybody in the family got one of these to put on the at the foot of their bed to keep their stuff in and pearl is so tiny that she takes up so little of her bed so she often stores a lot of stuff right here <laughs> um here's asher's bed peter's bed and he's got his up there and then even Jude. Even Jude there. are the only ones who have to share, but they're the smallest. And so. they sleep like champs. I have never yeah, had babe. kids that sleep this easily. The other reason we bought this RV is because we wanted a second bathroom. Mm. I won't go in there with you, but you can see we have another toilet and another sink, and it is used yeah. constantly. So now we're going to go check out the full bath, the one full bath in the trailer, and the master suite. Oh. This is our bathroom, um, and you know, we're so used to it. It's, I know it's tiny, but we all use this bathroom. One extra we added on our travel trailer was a never ending water heater. If we had not done that- On demand, yeah, water heater. Sort yeah, of on demand. If we had not done that, um, we, I think we probably would have all killed each other. Well, yeah, because uh, water, uh, RVs typically come with like a six, gallon or maybe 10 gallon at most water here and like a shower will use that up in a hurry or the dishes or anything and so the on demand it just heats it as yeah, it goes through and so we're just there are certain times like when we were getting ready to go to church or other things where it's just like shower 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 yeah and it is such a blessing <laughs> that we can just everybody can take the shower they want to take and it's like the one decadent thing we have you can take a long shower in this RV. You can spend some time in this shower if you want. All right, so the other, I do really appreciate how much storage is in this bathroom. They have these three cabinets, which are pretty great. Um, I guess I'll open one. No, we don't have to see inside. It's okay. Yeah, just go ahead. They're curious. There you go. It's actually, we could even utilize that even better. Mm -hmm. And then I have my makeup and my jewelry in this case. And I have, we have this that we put in. This was a target mirror and this gets used like crazy and it is held up. Don't like, push it too hard. <laughs> no, but I mean, it can rock, but it is, I'm, I'm very impressed because we use that. Yeah. I've thought about putting a little, we have an empty space here. We could put one more of those metal shelves, but I just haven't done it yet. This door is a sliding door that goes into the master suite. Wow. I'll meet you over there. Okay. This is the master suite. <laughs> it's it's masterfully done. Very sweet. Yeah. Um, this is probably the least impressive part of this trailer um, because this is not a very big master bedroom. Well, it's it's you have a queen, a king size bed in here and yeah. that takes up a lot of floor space. Well, and because we wanted such a big bunk room, um, we had to give up space here because there are some really comfortable travel trailers where they have slides and they have more floor space. Mm. But as you can see here, that is like that's all our floor right here to there to there and back 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 there obviously like, i don't want to get on camera um so yeah not not a lot of room to move around we do have under bed storage which i'll show you we keep our shoes underneath here and then we have more stuff under there it's like, not totally full but you know mm -hmm. um we did take out the rv mattress which was smaller and added in a foam mattress well, it was the same dimensions, like side to side, uh, top was, to bottom, but it was small as in... Would, would make the bedroom feel a little bit bigger, but it was not comfortable. No. I think it was actually... Um, I mean, it, uh, an RV king means it's not an actual king. So we bought a king... We had a foam king mattress, and we had to cut it with like a butter knife. Not a butter knife. Bread a knife. bread knife to make it fit. But it's been great. I'll show you where... We both have these um, nightstands that are actually really deep. Mm -hmm. And so Mike is able to have a storage bin there, then some other catch-alls. <laughs> this kind this of is mess. really nice. <laughs> but this is where our laundry Sorry. goes. 
for the whole family. And like I said, we do that every five or six days. We each have a closet. Mike, is yours clean? Not necessarily. <laughs> we have a closet. <laughs> Mike's, this is our clothing storage. This is where we keep our iron, computers, a little bit of clothing storage. Yeah, some random stuff. And, um, but like I said, I mean, it, this is so deep that I'm able to have a bag, books stacked, and still have a nightstand. Right now on my side, I'm using it for more clothing storage. I have like a bunch of t-shirts. Mm. Um, just because... Uh, where else are you going to put it? Yeah. Now that I'm stationary, I'm collecting books, as you oh, can see. Oh, there's books over there. I didn't bring any books with me. These are see like them. things I keep picking up, but I can't help. But they're good ones. This is our bedroom. We obviously have some wall space, but when you have to stand here, this is actually for your, this is headspace. <laughs> yeah, you can't, you'll be running your... All of the walls are headspace, so we can't put any shelving up here or else we would be like this. Yeah. So I know it looks like, hey, utilize that space. Hey, utilize that space. That's how they're saying it. Uh -huh. Some of the time when I'm, when we're using that shower, like I talked about before, this door is closed which is really difficult to get dressed. Mike and I both know we're like doing this like. <laughs> I, well, I, I take this spot right here by this door and I use this corner as like one leg on each side as I'm like putting on like my <laughs> I pants and stuff. I get dressed standing, like I will stand on this bed sometimes, <laughs> kneel on this bed. But this is where I'll do my makeup and my hair sitting on using this mirror. The little mirror, which also is a Target, I think. Yeah, I think it's from Target. I think it's supposed to sit like, um, yeah what is that called like an easel or whatever but it's here for now and sometimes i'll set something here too i just turned the light on another thing that we've gotten i'm like really impressed with us um your body learns real quickly how to not hit your head on this because you do it so often and it's so painful <laughs> that like we'll watch each other get up and it like brushes or your hair will brush it and we'll both go Whoa, <laughs> especially when you've done it quickly. But um this yeah, is it's a this is where we lay. It's this kind is of a where cave. the kitties lay. <laughs> um so before Which, we go to bed at night we roll our bed so that yeah. we don't get hair in our mouth while we're sleeping. Normally we would um leave the kitties off the bed or we would kind of not allow them, but there's so little space in this place that we and the cats they love this because there's yeah. the two windows yeah, and they love going back and forth between the two windows to watch the squirrels and stuff and the dogs that walk by. So we, we feel bad kicking them off our beds. So we let them use it, but we do have to roll it off every day. Speaking of rolling off. And this is how you have to get off the bed. <laughs> well, you just have to, like jump off the end, which yeah. is just, it's a little acrobatic thing. In my, do. And I think in our last video, when I was kind of showing our regular day, I show what it's like putting clothes away. It's very enjoyable. We've gotten used to it. You don't even think about it anymore. It's just things that you do, but you like suddenly when you're doing a tour, you realize the things that you're doing and how crazy they might look to someone else. <laughs> also, that is not all of our clothing storage. We have converted the back of our van into a closet and it has been brilliant. We never could have done it without it. Mike figured out through trial and error, through mm -hmm. multiple times of being driving down a road and hitting a bump in the whole closet collapsing <laughs> the bar that we the had bar, yeah so mike finally figured out a way for it to be stable and hang tons of clothing on it it has been amazing but it is sometimes you know when you're in a parking lot and there's somebody walking by and you open it and you have a closet and you're back and they're like oh so looks like we're homeless yes. living out of our car which no you we're know, not we're living out true. of our trailer yeah. okay so okay, keep it straight <laughs> that's our travel trailer like I said, it has been a huge blessing. And I think we kind of think of ourselves, at least I do. Mike probably doesn't because Mike's just thinking about getting ready for becoming a pilot and taking mm. tests and doing all of those things. But um, the kids have gotten obsessed with Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> and, you know, I think of this as kind of like our wagon that, uh, that they would use to get out to the prairie and that so many of our ancestors used here in the United States to travel. Um, and in other parts of the world too, I'm sure. But this has been an immense blessing for us to be able to do what we're doing and have our space and save money in in the interim mm -hmm. um, because we are spending it on my school and his education here. And so it's been great. And I know it looks crazy and you think like, oh, that can't be working. But 
we are kind of crazy and it is working and we're really happy to be in it. And I know of other friends who are doing different job switches and moves and different projects. And I think um, how helpful it would be for them to have a travel trailer. It's just awesome. It's it's so mobile. It's It frees you up to do a lot of different things and to have a space no matter where you go that is your home. So it's been awesome. Yeah, it's great. We're very, very blessed to have it. All right. So thanks for coming along. Yeah. Um, if you want, maybe we'll put links down below to when we bought this five years ago and we renovated it. It is so clean and shiny. Back and then. Yeah. And yeah. before we added in a lot of these things, you can go check it out. And when we still were having nine kids sleep in mm. it. And we'll also put a link to our original fifth wheel tour that we traveled for a year in with all nine kids, much bigger than this. I... I look longingly at fifth wheels. I'm kind of grateful that no fifth wheels fit up here in this campground. Yeah, yet they'd be a little bit smaller to be up here. Yeah, so. and so I don't have to look at them because when I'm in RV parks and I see these enormous fifth wheels and like sometimes you can peek in and see they have like double slides. So their living rooms look immense. I'm like, oh. And you see the two people who live in it. Yeah, <laughs> I, get, I get a little bit of envy. I covet a little bit. So I'm glad only smaller trailers fit up in the park that we're in. But... <laughs> So you can go check out that one and see what we did to renovate that. And we did a tour of that. Um, or you can just um, watch any of our other videos if you're new around here and just see how we've been doing this thing. But thanks for coming along. Yeah. We love you guys. And um, we're glad to have you as our friends. See ya.